Ahmad Shea family. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. This is Amon Rose always trying to bring you the truth. If you don't know what that historical scene is from, that is from school days. Lawrence Fishburne. Wake up. Um, I did a video about a year ago, eight months, nine months ago, called uh, Equality. This is Equality Part 2. Okay, um, it, it, it really is a sensitive thing. Of, you know, I, I am sensitive about my material, man. You know, I don't do this for likes. I don't do this for, for, I don't do it for likes. But I do make these videos to be watched and for, for informational purposes. Um, the first video entitled Equality has nine views, family. Nine views. Um, if you really want to dive into it and really dig deep into this topic, um, you can pause this, go to Aman speaking the truth and watch the first video and then come back and finish this video. You'll see, you'll get the totality of what I'm talking about today. So today is, uh, part two of equality. So you guys don't get left out of what I spoke about the first time. Please go watch the first video, then come back and finish this one. Um, I don't know if this one is going to be that long because, I, you know, I don't know how to keep saying the same thing to you guys, man. You know, equality is not how somebody treat us. <laughs> it, it, it can't be right now. <clears throat> it can't be. It's going to have to be how we treat people right now. It's going to have to be how we treat people. And I'm I'm really talking about um, the, the, what what really sparked this the, the video is the uh, the Buffalo mass shooting. Um, we're gonna have to treat our enemies how they treat us, and I'm talking about our true enemies. And I'm not talking about the facades. But once again, if you don't know who our true enemies are, you have to go back and watch the video. Um, I don't just be so blatant, you know, or you have to listen, you, you have to listen, you have to pay close attention. Okay. I'm not trying to be blocked and stuff like that. I'm trying to hear, be here to give you information. You have to, you have to be out here, um, looking for predators that's going against the community. You have to be out here setting up watches to protect our ladies. You have to be out there, you know, doing things in the right capacity to protect, you know, the people that that look like us. You know, I've said it hundreds of times, hundreds of times. You know, uh, my YouTube page, you know, it is what it is, man. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm, I really don't do this for likes, man. I, I honestly, that's why the YouTube page is open. Um, because it's for information. If people want to get on there, I told y'all, man, every every institution that we have that is created by black folks don't do shit for us. Every institution. I don't care what, what I, you know, I try to be respectful when I talk about the gangbang and stuff, but I say, you know, you're talking about an institution that's created by Moors. You know, I don't want to use names because I don't want this to be attacked. You're talking about an institution that's created by Moors that goes against each other, that have us murdering each other. We talk about other institutions that have us looking at each other, colorism. You have all type of isms and separatisms. But when a, a mass shooting like this happens, when it's a racist, listen to me, it's a racist. The man had on his, written on his gun, here's your reparations. This is the perfect time for you guys to say, you know what? I think we should go out here and show you some equality. I think this is, this is the time that we should go out here and really act the fool. This is the time that we should go out here and tear up wherever this, wherever this, wherever this young man came from. I think it's this, this is the time. Everybody that looked like the people that got shot up in this Buffalo shopping mall, whatever it's called, Tops. Everybody that 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 
keeps talking about all the shit that we do to each other. Should have got together because it's been what a week now. The first person has been buried. It's been a week now. It's been a week now and nothing. You, I mean, I mean, when a cop kills a, 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 a black man, let me let me let me be clear. Let me let me be let me be crystal clear here. Let me be crystal clear here, right? Because I don't think anybody that's being arrested should end up in death. Okay. If you're being arrested and you're a crackhead, you're you're a dope fiend, you're a drug dealer, you you whatever the case may be, I don't think it should be end up, it should end up in death. You're you 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 you're speeding. I don't think that arrest should end up in death. So I'm not saying that the cop is right. I'm saying, but a crack, uh, uh, um, a cop arrest uh, <laughs> a a meth head. Uh, uh, I can't think of the drug, the fetamine head, a fentanyl head. You guys tear up the cities. The man, it was a plague on the community. You tear up the city, ready to go to war. You, you, you got t shirts, you got his look alike ex NBA player raising all this money, raising all these causes, doing all this stuff. But here it is. Here it is. Your op. Fuck black people. Here's your reparations. Hey, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here and do this and execute and do this. This is, this is my plan. This is the plan. 30 minutes before the shooting. Because see, like I said, I don't just come up here and comment before, before we talk about this stuff. Now, this is the time that I would say to you black people, what is the, and I've told you all about that clown. What's this clown? And I told y'all, I told y'all about that coward ass clown. I don't ever, ever want to see anybody post this dude again in my life. I will, I don't even want to see him um, not fucking around the dude that used to walk around with the ARs and shit. And I told y'all he was a fraud from day one. I, I found the pictures of him uh, uh, bodyguarding uh, Trump, sitting in the crowd. He was crowd control for Trump. I told y'all he wasn't shit. I told y'all he wasn't for us. The first thing out of his mouth, he wanted to go around shooting black people. Come on, black, come on, people. We will fall for the fakest motherfuckers on the planet. Come on, how are you for us? And you say you want to go around shooting black people. Come on, man. Come on, man. Where this man at? Where this man at? Where is where does not fucking around at? Where where he at? Huh? And I told y'all, I told y'all, anytime an organization take money, I did it on a donation page. I said, y'all, I hate the donation thing, but we gotta lift uplift our own people and we gotta start our own movement. I say when somebody else gives us money, we gotta we are controlled by that money. Where your black lives people at right now? Where's the where's the black uh where's the black caucus at right now? Now, mind you, during COVID, Asian people got a law passed because they was being teased. We just had a massacre. Where's the black laws caucus at? Come on, y'all. Where the black laws caucus at? Here's your reparations, black folks. Here's your reparations written on the butt end of his gun. Here's your reparations. You built this country. Yo, you, my, my forefathers enslaved you, raped you, lynched you, boiled you in oil. Here's your reparations. When are you going to start treating people the way? When are you going to stop, accept, uh, stop trying to want people to treat you nicely when they don't give a fuck about you and start, and start, looking at them at the animals that they are and start putting them in that category so you can treat them and give them the respect that they deserve or the disrespect that they deserve. I'm trying to be nice with it. I'm trying to be nice with it. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be nice with it so this this information doesn't get flagged and get taken down. But when are you going to start treating people the way that they treat you? When are you going to start viewing people the way that they view you? 
When are you going to start looking at these people the way that they look at you? When? When? That's equality. That's equality. Oh, man. You, you can say all the shit that you want to say, but when is it done? When has it been done? When has it been done? What's been done? Edward, man, why you ain't been posting nothing on the political thing, man? For what? How many times I got to tell y'all, man? This is shit. This is, you know, once, once you start reading this shit, if you ain't going to burn that constitution where you're one third of a man and black doesn't mean nothing, black means death, all this shit is fake this and fake that and, and illegal uh, contracts and every, every, th- every piece of documentation that you think is worth something that's in your pocket is an illegal documentation. Listen to me. Everything that's in your, that you, that you, <laughs> that you deem valuable that you may have a, a little safe, that you may have to go get a job, that you may have in your backpack, like me. You may have something like this in your backpack. When you go look for a job, well, I got a job, but you go look for your job, and you may have your driver's license, your birth certificate, your, you know, passport, whatever, whatever. These are illegal documents illegal documents you may have your marriage license you may have proof of whatever the case may be these are illegal documents that's the you know but ignorance but then they'll tell you ignorance of the law is no excuse there's no excuse of ignorance of the law yes it is when you don't when you when you find out of these things when you're 40 <laughs> how do I, how, how can i when you don't teach these things when you teach these when you teach one side of the law. You teach that you need it. You didn't teach that you have to willfully go down here and get this. You didn't teach. And then you don't teach that it's a willful act that you have to go down here and get this. It's a willful act that you have to sign these things. It's a willful act. No, you don't. You say that you have to sign this to take your baby out this. You, it, for you, in order for you to get your baby out the hospital, you have to sign this. No, you don't. In order for you to do this and get this and get this and get that, you have to sign this. That's what they tell you. So the contract is already illegal because it's forced on you. They don't give you an option. That's that same old ignorant ass shit. Slavery was a choice. You had death or you had slavery. It's not a choice, motherfucker. I want to stay where I'm at. I want to keep doing what I'm doing. Y'all go, you take your ass and choose to go over there and leave me alone. How about that? See, see when you when you when you <laughs> when you don't when you stop thinking like other people, when you stop thinking like other people, and 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 open yourself up to other choices, then no, you can't tell me that was a choice. That was your choice that you gave me. That's not my choice. And then you hid the the, the teaching of the of the law. Of the land, of your land, of your no, of your documentation of the land, and now you tell me that it's a willful act. No, it's a Ill, no, it's an illegal document because you don't teach the law. You, ninety percent of us, ninety percent of us that graduate high school, you can give them a simple law and they wouldn't understand it. They can read a simple law and they wouldn't understand the law, so they don't know the law. Even after reading the law, they wouldn't understand the law. So we have to get back to helping one another. We have to get back to educating one another. We have to get back to treating people the way they treat us. This mass shooting is the prime example of we don't see our ops. We don't understand what who our ops are. Once again, we haven't said, I haven't seen nobody say a word, family. I haven't seen you, who you guys love, who you guys love, and who I always tell you do not uplift. I haven't seen your celebrity say anything. I just named some of the people that are always on here talking about they love black folks. Your, your, your not fucking around group, he ain't said shit. I ain't seen, um, uh, 
uh, Black Lives Matter. I haven't seen them say a motherfucking word. Uh, who else? I haven't seen uh, the Black Coalition saying nothing. I haven't seen uh, Dr. Um, Jesse Reverend Jesse Jackson and all them. Well, they part of the Black Coalition, so I'll, I'll group them together. Al Sharpton is part of the Black Girl Coalition, so they'll group them together. I haven't seen them say a word. Like I told y'all, they indoctrinated into this system. They don't, they don't give a fuck about us like that, family. But you guys got to start seeing that shit. We as a people have to start seeing that shit. They're like, dude, y'all ain't said shit about this. Like this white young man, y'all want to, like I said, y'all, y'all see the cop kill an unarmed minister to society. All hell break loose. But here it is. You see somebody playing a white racist that hate your black ass. Plan to go kill somebody. Execute the plan. He's arrested peacefully. You watch it. You can go, you can go watch his arrest. They filmed his arrest. He was, how are you doing? Like, like, like always, like all of them, when they do commit a mass shooting. They don't get the knee put on their neck for eight minutes, no matter what they were doing. Like I said, all arrests should end that way. And he gets to have a nice, comfortable ride down to the police station. He doesn't get roughed up. Hell, I got pulled over for driving somebody else's car, and I got roughed up. And and, and, and fucking, what was it? Was it 89 or 90? 90. Motherfuckers busted my lip. Off of Losey in uh, Lake Mead. <laughs> Yeah, now, <laughs> now what? Busted my lip, didn't even arrest me. But that's how the cops were here in Vegas. So, now that you see your true op, I'm not saying the cops aren't your ops. I'm saying that you really see somebody that treated you a certain way. This was the time that all you people that say you are for our people you should have did something. You should have stood up and said, hey, man, it's time for it's past time for us to start treating you guys how you treat us. How about this? How about this, man? We don't want you in our communities. That's the first thing I would say. Hey, man, <laughs> we don't want you in our communities. <laughs> I've already said it. I've said, I'll say this 10 times. And for you guys that already have communities, once again, if you have a black community, why you don't have patrol? Why you don't have, why don't you have a, a, a patrol set up to see this coming? See, it's not about, once again, I'm finna wrap it up for you guys. It's not about moving and having land and all this other stuff. It's about having the army and the gun power to protect your land. It's good that we want to go buy land. That, that, that's the blueprint. That's one of the blueprints. I've, I've said that is that is beautiful. But every time we go buy our land, Rosewood, uh, Philadelphia, um, all these communities that we've had, what did they do? They blow it up. They burn it down. They shoot it up. No. We have to build an army. We have to build an army. We have to build our technology based around our army. Then we build our land. 24-7 surveillance. You walk up into our shit. You don't walk up into our shit looking suspect. Hey, man, what you doing here? Uh, man, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. You can't, you can't come in there. And y'all don't like it for what? It saves you. It saves me. Why? It's called security. You Listen, family, you cannot walk onto an army base. It's private property. I can't take an AR in a bag, put it on my shoulder, put uh, throw it in my car, drive to an army base, and say, I'm going to go shoot one of these uh, guys at a grocery store. Or shoot some of these military cats at the grocery store. I can't do that. I'll never make it in. 
I'll never make it in. That's how you protect yourself. If you have in a community, hey man, what's your business here? Are you, are you, I've even told you guys, the nightclub, I've said, hey, I know this is, I ain't gonna show y'all the, the name on the card. We have a nightclub. Hey man, here's, a, here's our, here's your nightclub, here's your card. You know, whoop whoop. We have um, um, a youth center. Hey man, here's your here's your ID for your youth center. You know, when you come in, if you don't have this, or you don't, when you swipe it, it don't match you. Who are you? It's just like being part. It's just like being a bank member. You can't go to that bank if you don't have the card. You can't get. You can't use the facilities if you don't have a card. It's it's, it's Costco. You, you you go and hey man, you can go in there and shop all day. You can go. You can't even get in if you don't have a card. Come on, family. There's things in place that we're we're looking at and we're ignoring because what? We 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 think we're too good for that shit. We think that we don't deserve protection. We think that we don't deserve we don't deserve the same thing that they deserve. No, no, no. We want we want them to say it's okay for us to have it. That's what y'all, that's what that's what's wrong with you bootlickers. We you want them to say, you know what, it's okay. It's, it's okay for you to have it. It's okay for you to have it. No. It's past that time. It's, it's past that time. I don't even know if this should be called equality. Because you know what? Right now, you motherfuckers got to start saying, you know what? Fuck that. Fuck whatever, whatever you own right now. Fuck that. It's time for us to get our own shit, protect our shit, and you motherfuckers stay away from our shit. Stay the fuck away from me. Stay the fuck away from my children. Stay the fuck away from my... You can't go around our banks. You can't go around our grocery stores. Because you ain't safe around these motherfuckers. If we having a party, if we having a picnic, uh, if we having a... Uh, we, we, we doing an African Pride Day, we celebrating our shit, you can't walk through our shit with a duffel bag, motherfucker. What are you doing here? Why are you here? And we so nice. We don't even have security set up to check a motherfucker that's coming in there to do us harm that was just on the interweb talking about killing us. We don't have no surveillance, no nothing. But I can put a video up and it'll get flagged in two minutes. Less than two minutes. I can get a, I can put a video up and, and, and I can put a picture up and it'll get flagged worth less than two minutes. And you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me with all this technology, see, this is what a child don't understand. This is what y'all don't want y'all to get to. You mean to tell me that nobody could have said, hey, man, I just saw a video that was really disturbing. I think this dude might, might go down there and do something at this grocery store. He just posted this video. Matter of fact, put the video down and call this grocery store, man. It's get, call the police. This kid, this, this kid may be coming down there. See, y'all, y'all ignore that. Y'all ignore that. See, I don't ignore the technology that these people do. I can post a video. These people screen my video. They'll screen it on here. They'll screen it on, on, on YouTube, on, on Facebook. They will tell me what I said and what I did doesn't go against their, cause their community standards. And if I d disagree with it, I'm going back and forth with these people. Within two minutes, you mean to tell me they couldn't save no black people? All right, yes, y'all, y'all, you know what? Y'all think what y'all what the fuck y'all want to think, man? Y'all do what the fuck y'all want to think. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, everybody that until y'all want to come together, until people start wanting to truly put their money together and start buying land and start building a military for us, everything that y'all talk about it ain't shit. The people that y'all, the people that they put in front of y'all ain't shit. They pussies. They pussies. Now, riding around in the AR with trucks and ARs and walking down the street, marching. Where, okay, where, where, where's your boy? Where's your boy? Uh, the, the Muslim dude. I just saw the videos of them marching and shit. Where, where they at? Where they at? They're always talking about the white man is the devil. Here's the opportunity right now to show y'all something. 
What they doing? Where they at? I'm I'm a guy that likes preventive measures, right? I like preventive measures. I like the wall idea. I like the business card idea, like a credit card swipe idea. I like buying our own land and saying this is sovereign land. This is our shit. I like buying, build, uh, saying that, you know, this is our money maker. We're going to build a casino a resort, a private casino resort. Beautiful. That way we have money coming in. That way we don't have to we don't have to keep asking people for money year after year after year after year. So we have money to buy, to pay for that military. Because you're gonna need that military. You're gonna need that military. You're gonna need to pull that trigger. Eventually, eventually, you're gonna need to pull that trigger. Do I wanna pull that trigger? No, man. I don't wanna pull that trigger. But eventually. You're going to need to pull that trigger because eventually somebody's going to try to walk on that property and do what this young man just did. And you're going to have to send a message. You don't come on this property shooting. It's a sovereign property. We, 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 we you know, you know, um, I want y'all to go look at farmers. When they see a predator on a farm, do they, do they catch the, the predator and then release it back out to the wild? Or catch the predator and then put it in another cage over here, or do they do they try to hide out and shoot their predator? I want you guys to tell me what 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 they do. I mean, you know, I'm from a farm. I grew up on a farm. I want you to guys to tell me what most what most farmers would do if they know that they have a predator. I mean, they might set out traps. I'm saying hey, before the traps. You know, I don't want to set out the trap. I know I got a big predator on my property that's killing my cows and shit like that on my sheep. You know, I got a big predator. Tell me what they would do. Go to the, go to whatever farmers page you like and, and then find out if one of them has a predator, what they would do first. Would they try to capture it and release it and put it in a cave somewhere else? Or would they try to kill it? You tell me what they do to predators. And then now you got to act accordingly when a predator comes into your onto your property and try to kill you. This is how you're supposed to act accordingly. See, you have to reciprocate that same energy. But here it is. The predator is trying to kill you. So now once again, you will have all your rights to defend yourself with equal force, right? That's law. <clears throat> That's equality. You're in all your rights. To defend yourself with equal force. I don't know, fam. I don't know. I don't know where we're going as a people. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know, but I, I know I'm tired, man. I know I'm tired of making these videos. I know I'm tired of, you know, me making these videos. Equality, fam. What, what, what are we asking for? What are we doing? Why are we asking for equality? Why? We got to start showing people that we can't be treated this way. And when motherfuckers treat us this way, sorry, man, you got to get that same energy. You got to get that same energy. You cannot step on my, you cannot keep stepping on my toes, man. You can't. You can't. Eventually, I, I'm, I got to do something. I got to react. You can't let the bully keep bullying you because he's going to keep bullying you. You got to fight back eventually. You got to say enough is enough, motherfucker. Stop fucking with me. All right, man. Hotel.